Chapter 78, Another Perspective, The Oppressed Ones What? A fortified city? Nonsense. No matter how you look at it, it's not even built yet. The scout nodded with a raised eyebrow. It doesn't look as good as Scudetto, but it is a fortified city, I was told there are two villages here, would you like to go to the other village? Idiot! We came here to attack Scudetto. We can't change our target now. Ha! Huh. I'm sorry, sir. I yell, and the officer knight who was contacted by the scout kneeled on the spot and apologizes. He looked down at his head and clicked his tongue. Damn, I heard that the construction of the citadel had begun, but I didn't think it was already finished. I, Unimog Jernetta, the eighth prince of the kingdom of Jernetta, had gone to the trouble of taking command, and what was our country's intelligence unit doing? Damn, all these people are making fun of me. He bit his right thumbnail and complained. Even though it's already been 32 years, the orders they give us are not to attack an important base in the enemy's country, but only to take control of a remote village. Even though it is a part of the operation, it is not satisfactory to me because all my brothers have been given better roles and positions than me. His majesty is old, and a change of kings is imminent. And yet, I am not even provided the opportunity. Gritting my teeth inside, I looked around at everyone and opened my mouth. There is clearly not enough time to build a new fortress city. If so, they must have focused on building walls and made it look like a fortified city. We will march on as is and occupy the enemy territory. Oh, wait! It may only look like a fortified city, but it will be difficult to capture it if the walls have been built. We have only 300 men. We need more men to attack the stronghold. The knight who had been bowing his head in front of me raised his head and spoke out in opposition. I silently pulled my chin and kicked the knight in the head. The knight mercifully grunted, his nose bleeding. Rude man. Did you hear what I said? That wall is a sham. Rather, we must strike it before it completely functions as a fortified city. Don't you understand that? I understand. I exhaled deeply and looked up while looking at the knight, who lowered his head while holding his nose. Any news from the sky? There are no people in the village in the front, and they seem to have taken refuge in the fortified city in the back. So that walled town is the target village. But Scudetto is a long way from here. To evacuate. Is that what you mean? I heard a report from the wyvern that there is a fortified town behind the village. Interrupting my words, one of the knights began to talk about his own theory. I was irritated by his rudeness, but I clicked my tongue back and opened my mouth. Fool! Look at those walls. It will definitely take a year or two just to build that. Even if you shorten the construction period by mobilizing people like idiots, it would still take half a year. What's the point of building another town so close? Answer me. No, sir. The knight bowed deeply as he admonished the fool who could not think for himself. Originally, reports from the sky were one-sided and only a rough idea was known. The reason for this is the situation in the sky. A puppet magician riding a wyvern is in danger of losing control and being swept off his feet if he is not careful. Therefore, they have to keep a constant flow of magical power and they cannot make a detailed report. Furthermore, when controlling a creature, it is said that it takes a lot of magical power to issue instructions that go against the creature's instincts. In other words, it is difficult to send a wyvern charging into the castle walls with great force. It's useless because he is said to be a puppet magician of the highest rank in the kingdom. The commander should not be confused by the fragmentary information of this useless puppet magician. He must make his own decisions based on multiple pieces of information and always take the best course of action. This is a true commander. Thinking about this, I let out a sigh and shook my head from side to side. Why am I, with such a clear head, being treated so coldly? 
Is it because there are so many people who are jealous of those who excel? I must break through the citadel no matter what it takes and show my ability. With that in my mouth, I look back at my army. Look! Wyvern has informed me that some villagers have left the village and evacuated. They may have spotted us. Proceed with caution. Ha! We marched down the street with our large shields up in the air in a wary manner, but no attack came. Easily approaching the castle walls, we looked up at the gates and looked at each other. It's hard to imagine a trap this close. Perhaps only a few villagers escaped. It is possible that they would make such a decision if they came as far as Wyvern. After all, if there are no experienced knights stationed in the area, is it a given that the villagers and others would flee at the mere sight of the wyvern? This could be our best chance. If we get this many strongholds intact, it will definitely help us in our subsequent attack on Scudetto. Now, open the gates! Ha! Huh. I ordered, and the soldiers began to destroy the gates. However, no matter how much they tried, there was no sign of destruction or even cracks. What's going on? Master Unimog! Even an iron hammer can't break it! That's absurd! I gnash my teeth when I hear the report. No matter how I look at it, it doesn't look like mithril. It can't be a material made from a new magical beast, can it? By the way, did you say that the villagers escaped from the back of the house? If so, the back gate should be open. All right, everyone. Let's go around. He orders and starts to move himself. Attack magicians, follow from the rear. Heavy armor in front. Prepare for surprise attack. Ha! Huh. We regroup and go around as we continue along the walls. But before we reached the backside of the village, we stopped. What, what, what is that? Someone said in a hushed voice. It was no wonder we were upset. We were surprised to see a walled village on the side, but on the other side of the village, we saw a much larger fortified city. But that's absurd. Is that Scudetto? That can't be. Scudetto is supposed to be a circular fortress city. It must be another secret military base. The soldiers were confused and loudly shouted such things. Calm down! He yells at the confused soldiers and observes the citadel from a distance. It's a strange shape. Should we assume that the citadel is functional? There are something spaced at equal intervals on the city walls. There is no doubt that those are for defense. There also appear to be figures nearby. Are they planning to hide there and attack with magic? Or maybe an attack with bows and arrows or rocks? He puts his hand to his chin and snarls. A structure that big, it won't be completed in two or three years. No matter how much we may have overlooked it, there's no way that our intelligence forces can't discover a fortified city of that size. That's true, but you don't mean to say that you're going to. We will conquer it. It's a given, isn't it? When I said that, some of the knights wrinkled their brows. They stared at me with dissatisfied faces and opened their mouths. There are no soldiers around that citadel. That is certain from the information from the wyvern. Then, first, let's see the defenses of that citadel. If possible, we will take control of it. Then there will be no problem. When he reiterated this, the cowardly knights seemed to be convinced and fell silent. What a bunch of useless soldiers! I shook my head from side to side and let out a sigh.